And we back, we back, we back. Hold on, show my sis some love real quick. Show my sis some love. She bodied that shit. She bodied that. She bodied that. Look at you, Journey. You on time. Oh, man. This ain't no intro. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Oh, you're looking fly today. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We got beef, Journey. We got some real beef. Why? What'd I do? The title of this album sounds very toxic. <laughs> it, it sounds very toxic. So like it's, it, it's not you, it's me. I'm not even like, yeah. Talk, talk, to, me, talk to me about this, this title of this album, please, because I'm... <laughs> I'm going through, well, shit, I'm trying to think. When did we speak? We spoke in like August or September or something? Yeah, a few months ago, yeah. All right, so yeah, I was already in my break. I was fresh in my breakup, and that was really over. And it's like, I think I got the it's not you, it's me line. And so this shit is, this shit is triggering. Look, talk about <laughs> this, and why are women playing these games in 2020, please? I'm done. No, so... I titled it that because, I mean, obviously it's a generic breakup line, but I feel like I've been through a lot of shit, like, with different men. And so, you know, that's what the whole EP is about. It's about just, you know, dealing with the hardships and, the, you know, the problems, struggles of relationships. That's all. That's it. Breakups. You feel me? Breakups. So tell Break me, a, tell, let, let's talk about breakup. Because first of all, you're too pretty for somebody to be breaking up with you so that means you broke up with somebody so why the line is you it's me it's not you it, it's you it's me like why that line why that lie okay i'm 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 triggered by this lie that you women tell it's not you it's me you know fix it if it's you I mean, part of it might be a little, you know, it might be a little white lie, but another part has to do with, like, I feel like, you know, I've been through a lot, and I have, like, you know, certain traumas in my past that have prevented me from having, like, a healthy relationship. So part of it is, like, yo, it's really not you, it's me. I have a lot to deal with, I have a lot to work on, so let's just, you know, stay friends until, yeah, until stay. we can forward, let's, like. Oh, my goodness, let's stay friends. I Oh, like, this is absolutely insane. Like, and I'll tell you why it's insane. The fact why? that you, and I'm really dealing with this right now. So I cannot wait to really sit and digest this entire project because, yeah, like, I might go up somebody's side somebody's head with, like, a gallon of milk oh or something. God. You know, because it's, it's like, um, let's stay friends. What are we staying friends for? Why would you want to stay friends with somebody who you, you broke their heart? Tell me, Journey. <laughs> I didn't necessarily break anyone's heart, but I mean, you might not want to burn that bridge. Maybe they're beneficial to you in another aspect of life. And you don't want to burn that bridge. You want to stay friends, you know, keep a healthy relationship. Might turn into something in the future. Like, they got that whole thing that's like, um, right person, wrong time. So, you know, I might be one of them. You feel me? So, yeah. Stay friends. Don't burn that bridge yet. So, what are some of Journey's toxic traits since we're, since we're here right now? <laughs> My toxic traits? I don't have any. I'm an angel. I'm a child of God. I don't have any. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are, I, I, look, you are, listen, you're beautiful, but you are a liar. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, I cannot. I can't, it's, it's not you, it's me, and you don't have any toxic traits. You've given somebody a line. Look, my man, December Moon, he wants to work with you, actually. He's a producer. Um, okay. Maybe on, on the next project, y'all can link up and, and do some great, great work. But l let's get back into the toxic woman that you are, right? <laughs> How has this quarantine been treating you since we last spoke? I mean, it's been better. It's been great. 
um you know as far as like moving forward with my music i've gotten a lot done i've been traveling a lot um relationship wise you know i've been talking to a few different people nothing like hey. crazy. <laughs> what wow. I, can't oh, wow. have op- I can't have options like the first song on my project i can't have options what Oh, let, let, let's talk about these options. Let's talk about it. <laughs> how, how many options do we have? Right now, um, I can't disclose that information, but <laughs> we got a couple. We got a few. <laughs> how does, so how does someone win you over then? Um, they got to be charismatic. They got to be caring. Definitely loyal, um, faithful, you feel me? And just like a nice person all around. Nothing, I don't need nothing crazy. And I don't yeah. like a like friendly ass nigga. Like, I hate when niggas is too friendly. I can't do it. I just can't. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> oh. it's like, oh, I just can't stand that. I be getting jealous really easily. Maybe that's one of my toxic traits. Maybe that's one of my toxic traits. I don't know. I be getting jealous. When I'm like, you know, really feeling somebody, I get jealous. <laughs> Wait, so when does the EP come out? This Friday? Yeah, it came out on the uh, 11th. Um, so here, here's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. So what do you like then? Like, I, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get a gist of it. You don't want somebody too nice to you. Um, no, 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 no. They could be, I want them to be nice to me. I just don't want them to be nice to other females. Like, because oh. you know, that just be causing problems. Like, why are you hugging her too long too long don't make sense you know what i mean what's what's too long like you know like hug is probably like a second long right you hugging her for two seconds that's too long two seconds too long damn damn right listen for everybody that's on here right now listen journey's project it's not you it's me the debut EP is out now on all streaming platforms. How many visuals do we have for this project so far? So we have three visuals to options like that, this and that. They all out. Um, we have another visual coming up soon um, to like uh, the last track on the EP. Oh, coming like, out soon. Which one was your favorite so far? The favorite visual? Yeah. Um I'll probably say like that just because it was fun to film like we filmed all around LA and we did the whole insecure theme so it was pretty fun I had I enjoyed that one okay what's um mm-hmm. options right let's get into to options Rick, because now like you really have me just in my head over here um <laughs> options did you use any of your actual options for these videos nah 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 nah, nah. we don't do that we don't do that, do that. so have any of these <laughs> options pressed you? Like, yo, like, is that real smoke? Is that real deal? Or like, was that just the music? Wait, say that again. You broke up. <laughs> um, d- d- has any of the options pressed you? Like, and asked you, like, yo, what's up with this record? Because we don't like um, men. We don't like comp- men. We don't like competition. Really, I feel like y'all do. Cause as soon as we like start talking about somebody else, like y'all just y'all are competitive by nature. That's why y'all play more sports than us. Y'all do more shit like that. I feel like y'all are competitive. Y'all like y'all like that. Y'all like to chase. I but, know, I hate it. I, I absolutely hate, hate that. I don't I'm sorry. I don't want no competition. If I think somebody else is in the picture, I'm out. Go get that loser because <laughs> that either way, that's a downgrade. That that is an absolute downgrade for me and what I'm bringing to the table. So Waste your time over there. And and these options that you these options that you have, is there a favorite? Is there is there one A, two A? Like how does that work? I'm done. Nah, it's so okay, so let's not get the concept misconstrued. So when I say I got options, it's not necessarily like, all right, I am talking to like five different niggas and I have like one that's my favorite or whatever. It's more so like so I have this one guy I'm talking to, and if he don't act right, I got to, you know, let him know that he can be replaced and that it's not, you know, guaranteed that he's going to stay with me. So that's kind of where that whole concept came from. Not necessarily like, you know, I'm like juggling niggas like over here. You know what I mean? So. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. I, I, I ain't mad at that. It, it's, it's like a little yeah. back. It's like a little backup plan. It's a backup plan. Plan B. It, it's always Plan B. Have you been taking your Plan B this quarantine? I, I, I. So no, we, we, we're playing. We're playing. We're playing. Everybody. Um, uh, it's not you. It's me out now. Um, how do you know yeah. how many times you've used that line on somebody? It's not you. It's me. No, nah, I don't know. I don't keep count. I yeah. mean, it's I've been it's in too many. Huh? You've been in too many. Go, go. Let's finish this one. Hold on. Go ahead. I haven't been in enough relationships like to oh, okay. really like like use that line a lot. But I have used it like probably like three or four times. Three or four times. That, yeah. that, ain't, that ain't bad. That's you. You mid level toxic. You're not like Janae Aiko. <laughs> like you're not. You're not. Uh, good, <laughs> but you get you get there. Um, so far, how's the project been received, you know, amongst your fans? Yeah, everyone's, everyone's liking it a lot. Um, I know a lot of people told me their favorite song was Don't Feel Right, as some people tell me Cap'n. My personal favorite is Cap'n. Um, but yeah, everyone's, everyone's been loving it. That's all the, you know, feedback I've been getting. Listen, tell Zach we need to do a private journey, um, we can make this really, really cool and fun. We need mm -hmm. to do. We need to do a private journey, listening session slash finding love for journey, because that's how we're gonna pull them in on Clubhouse. I'm done. Are Yo, I'm so. Let's do it though. Let's do are it. You, are you on Clubhouse yet? Yeah, I just are started. You, for real, how you like it so far? It's a lot of negativity on, on there though, like. So kind of crazy on there in some of these little chat rooms but it's cool i feel like we can create a, a nice little environment in there yeah I, I think um i think that would be a dope part of the the rollout um for your project you know to keep the energy up where you know y'all do right. something you, you know ping a lot of people ping a lot it's a lot of i mean honestly you can actually just start the room it's not you it's me and then i mean because it's more than enough beautiful women on that damn thing and the guys are going <laughs> to follow and at that point you could just roll into letting them know like, oh yeah by the way yeah my project is out and you keep it your room your people you moderate you know zach up there the whole family ties crew and i think that would be dope and if y'all needed me to come in there and spice it up and have it look some little fun that would be a dope thing i i, I like that idea what me too i like that yeah we should do that i'm gonna talk yeah. to zach and, and, and yeah. you said and you said it's a lot of negativity. Are you worried that it's not you, it's me has a negative uh, connotation behind it, you know? Because it's like, um, it's not you, it's well, me. It, it sounds like you're playing games. <laughs> nah, it's more so, like I was saying, it's like a breakup line. And like a lot of my songs are like the breakup songs. They're like the songs where you trying to you know, you trying to get over a nigga, you trying to tell him what's up. Like, so it could have a negative connotation to it, but I feel like most girls, most women will understand what I'm talking about and, you know, how it's supposed to be uh, perceived. So. Look, in this 2020, it's been noted that the women are out here breaking hearts. The women are out here cheating. Like, I'm hearing, mm -hmm. like, the, the 2020 has turned, went, like, Damon Tom has been on full throttle. All right, uh, full <laughs> throttle, and y'all been on one. I want to shout out um, two people that just stepped in the room. DJ Young Music, look, get with him. He's a dope DJ and uh, oh. cur curated influencer in a DMV. Uh, Young Music, DYMG, real dope dude. Get with him. Um, I got to lock y'all in together. He's on WPGC 95.5. He also does interviews as well. Good guy. Okay. I'm going to lock y'all in. He got a lot going on. Another dope artist, Tessa Key. <laughs> Tasiki, she's right here at the bottom as well, too. Like, you know, she got these nice, pretty dimples. And, you know, you all. Who um, who didn't you get to work with on this album that you would like to work with on the next project? Ooh. Um, I would say I'm going to track with Ty Dolla Sign. Um, I definitely want to, I want to work with Mulatto so bad. <laughs> I feel like we can do, like, some sort of, like, empowering, like, female record. Um maybe something with like summer walker that would be kind of dope yeah those would be my three right now and you and summer will, will probably kill it because she's going through some shit too 
Right, exactly. So you and Summer together would be kind of like, oh, girl, well, let's go through this shit together and hurt these niggas. Right, it would be dope. It would be dope. I, I definitely, uh, I can feel that. Um, What else is playing, you know, as far as, like, with the rollout in the future of Journey? Like, like, what else you see yourself doing, you know, in the coming, you know, yeah, like, what are we looking forward to besides the track? Well, you said you've been traveling. Have you been staying safe? Yeah, I've been staying safe. You I don't you COVID anymore like I did in July. <laughs> you caught it? I caught it in July, yeah. Yeah. Did it, did it, did it feel as bad? Did you get it bad or how bad no, was it? No, bad. It was really bad, actually. But, you know, I was being stupid, and that's what happens when you be stupid. But, um, you know, I'm great now. I'm straight. You know, I'm not really doing what I was doing before. Um, just traveling for work. And um, that's about it. But yeah, as far as next year, I definitely, you know, I'm working on my album. We're trying to put out an album next year. You know, the EP was a nice little introduction, but I feel like, you know, I have a lot more to show. Um, so next year is, you know, hopefully going to be that year. And yeah, hopefully it will collab with some like brands. I know I'm really like into makeup. So hopefully I can do like some sort of collaboration with a makeup brand or just, you know, some influencers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all right now. We're going to get some acting out of Journey? Some acting? Yo, I want to. I would love to do that. <laughs> I, I can see you on one of, like, those college-type shows, like, or movie-type Netflix, Tyler Perry-type feel. Like, yeah. like you, you roll right into it perfectly, you know, and get you some um, placement. That's another thing, too. Um, I hope the team is doing, you know, shop the music mm -hmm. to some of these uh, TV shows and scores, you know what I'm saying? Because you have that music where your music fits in with like television and and movies and shit, you know what I mean? Like with some of the options and, you know, things like that. It, it'll fit yeah. right into just with the climate of, you know, what we're going through, especially, you know, I'm sure the content for 2021 is going to be absolutely crazy because a lot of people have been locked down. So once this vaccine go out and Everybody back outside. I'm sure it's going crazy. Question for right. who did you mm -hmm. have? Who did you have winning that versus between Keisha and Ashanti? <laughs> ah. I say, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna say Keisha, and she was ready too. Did you see her flicks? Yo, Keisha she had ready. the ice on and all the makeup. Keisha was on one. Keisha was like, "Oh, yo, you yo. about to get body. <laughs> you about to what get about you?" Say? Oh no, nah, um I definitely I had Keisha. I had Keisha with like uh I felt like it was gonna be like eleven at uh probably thirteen they played thirteen seven, maybe uh twelve to eight ish. But right. Ashanti was gonna look better. So Ashanti would get a, a point for looking better. Like that, oh, that yeah, that, that would count for something. Yeah. Ashanti Ashanti, her mom and her sister. We're gonna body Keisha Cole and Frankie and her other sisters. It wasn't. It wasn't even close. So yeah, I hope they. Who you want to see later on in the verses? Like, who would you love to see? Yo, um, damn. I don't know, but you know what? I'm excited for the um the Bay Area one, E40 and uh Too Short. Yo, that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be a sleep. What did you think about the the Jeezy Gucci joint? Yo, that was yo, that was so crazy. <laughs> Wait, I'm surprised they even got on there though. Like, and they were able to actually do that because I thought some shit was gonna go down. Could could that you shit. see it? Could you see yourself doing like a, a live or something like that with somebody that you really can't stand? Like, let's say like a, a ex boyfriend with a bad breakup. Like, could you see yourself? Uh no, hell no. Damn, for no. real? Nah, cause what what we gonna do? What we gonna do on live? Talk like <laughs> talk I'm not gonna do that. Like, uh, -uh. you don't remember? You don't remember like two, three years ago they had that um the girl hurt Bay, and she was talking to her boyfriend about. Yeah. What you think about that? I mean. Would you do that? I don't see the I don't see a point because it's like, look, wait, were they like still they were still together at the time or was nah, it like they they had broken up? Yeah, I don't see the point. Like y'all already broke up. Why do you have to go back and revisit that whole situation? It's just pointless to me. I don't know. Would, 
would you do that as a content piece though for your project? Like, that's a good idea. That's, that's a great a idea. Especially you with the "It's Not You with Me." Look, listen, a hey, Canon Joe director. All y'all, I see y'all thirsting over my girl Journey here. I need y'all to do me a favor. Follow her. Go stream her album. It's not you. It's me. The debut is out right now. She has some oh, dope. Right. She has some dope visuals up. Hey, uh, Zach, Family Ties Entertainment. When y'all come to the DMV first quarter, Kid Cannon is a dope shooter y'all can use if y'all need somebody to run around with y'all for the day and just get visuals. You know, uh, he has a partner named Keith. And they can kind of just document the whole day for you guys. I'm sure for a reasonable price, y'all can work something out, you know. So look into mm -hmm. that. No, yeah, it's people that, you know, could put y'all together something real dope, a real nice recap, and, you know, get it really popping. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to say to the good people before I let you go, Miss Lady? No, I just want to say follow me and click that link in my bio. It's not you. It's me out now. Please stream it. Share it with everyone you know. And yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm playing. So it snowed down here today. It, it real Ooh. bad. Where you, where you at? In Jersey? I'm in LA. Oh, I hate you. I'm hating. Um, <laughs> nice so, and sunny over here. So it snowed in, in this DMV region today real bad. So I'm in the house, but Friday I'm going crazy on Journey's music. Just giving you a heads up. We gonna go crazy. Um, what's the actual single that y'all running with? I mean, I don't know yet because we kind of, you know, we already have three singles off of that. Technically, you know, the three that were already out. Um, the next one is kind of we don't know yet. Whichever one people you know really gravitate to the most, and I think that might be might be capping. But it's just, I don't know, it might be Don't Feel Right, too. Because, you know, those are like the top two that people are really liking right now. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm pl I know I'm playing like five of them this Friday and seeing what the people decide what they like the most. Whatever they like the most, we're going to go ahead and put that in power rotation. Hey, Young hey. Scholar, I don't know if you know Journey. Journey meet Young Scholar. He popped in the <laughs> South region. He's a super dope uh, personality. Y'all need to do an interview, tap in with him. He got the South on lock. Alabama, uh, the Georgia area, Young Scholar can get you right. Okay, I bet. Why is baby get get with a Young Scholar? <laughs> well, uh, hey, look, Family Ties, I'm going to play the whole project. I got y'all covered. I got y'all covered. Don't worry about it. Because this is... <laughs> This is the toxic music we're closing out with for the year 2020, and we're leaving this energy in 2020. What you doing for really? New Year's? What is what's your New Year's looking like? You got options. Who you? How do you decide who you're gonna be with on New Year's? I don't know. Whoever's acting right, I don't know. Whoever decides to take me out the country or take me somewhere, that's who I'm gonna spend it with. <laughs> oh, she don't play, fellas. Y'all hear I that? Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot right now. So you, you're still, your DM is still open. That's what you're saying. It might be. Um, it might be. If y'all shot that good, Nia, it might be. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, fellas, go ahead. Out, out the country, get, get get them duckets right. Journey, appreciate you for tapping in with me. I got you on Thanks. Friday. I got you covered. And anything you need in DMV, all that shit, you know, I got you, all right? Hey, love. Thank you so much. All right, <laughs> All right bye.